Hey, Year 6. I'm going to be talking you through today's English lesson. Hopefully you have all read yesterday's biography on Usain Bolt. It's really important that you have because that will give you a good flavour of what's included in the biography and what you'll need to take notes on today. So, um, today's lesson is, the learning question is, can I take notes and plan a biography? Um, it's a really important lesson. You almost can't write a good biography at the end of the week if you don't take good and detailed notes today. You almost want to have too, too many notes today so that by the end of the week you can pick your best bits of notes to go into your final piece of writing. So first step is going to be to pick an athlete that you would like to write about. I've just loaded six onto the screen as an idea. So we've got Jessica Ennis-Hill on the top left, Mo Farah in the middle, Andy Murray in the top right. Andy Murray would be a kind of really good choice. The reasons for that would be because he's had a difficult career. He has been battling against other, you know, the, the best tennis players almost of all time in Djokovic and Federer and Nadal. And he also has kind of had injuries in his career. He used to be a very interesting um, character. We also have um, Megan Repino, captain of the USA women's soccer team just here. We have Serena Williams and we have Mara Toje, a recent star from the Rugby World Cup. So I've just loaded these um, celebrities on to give you an, an idea, but it's obviously completely up to you what sport you would choose. If you would like to choose a famous person that isn't an athlete, that is okay. We'd prefer if it was because it's going to match up with our teaching and our models of writing much better this week. So we prefer if it was an athlete, but if you really, really have someone else that you want to write about, that would be fine as well. And I've just put down at the bottom here, it's probably best to choose an athlete that you either already know some information about or an athlete that you are really interested in finding out more about. It will just make the writing process more enjoyable for yourself. So pause this clip, and once you've picked your athlete, um, press play and we'll move on to the next part of the lesson. So I have decided to research Jessica Ennis Hill today. The reasons for that is because the takes part in an event called the heptathlon at the Olympics, which means that she has to be good at almost every single Olympic event, the running events, she has to be good at hurdles, she has to be good at throwing events. So I've chosen her to find out more about how she managed to achieve that. For all of our athletes today, regardless of who it is, we are going to be researching the same kind of thing. So we always need to start our biography off with where your athlete was born then their early life and childhood, followed by some family details. You are then going to move on to their school and their education. And it may be that your athlete maybe had homeschooling, maybe missed school so that they could train. Maybe at this stage, they started to show that they could be successful and maybe they represented the county or the country. So it'd be good to include that at this part as well. The main bulk of your biography is going to be about their sport and career. Um, but it's really important that this part of your biography isn't just date after date after date. You don't want it to sound like in 2008, they did this. In 2009, this happened. You want to make sure that you've got really interesting things to write about. So it's probably best to try and research and find out if there was a standout moment or a big achievement in their career. Um, did they win Olympic gold, for example? Did they win Grand Slam titles? How many did they win? And then other information. Did this athlete have setbacks or injuries? How did their career end? I know Usain Bolt, I think, got injured on one of his final races when he finished third. So that would be good information to include. The final part of today's lesson is going to be to create a timeline for your athlete. Normally, timelines would go from left to right across the screen. I've just done mine going from top to bottom because I find it gives me a little bit more space to write around the side. And I'm going to use a browser to search. I'm going to use Google Chrome and Google, but obviously there are other search engines that you may wish to use. And all I'm going to be doing is making sure that 
in the search bar, I'm using really precise um, keywords so that it brings back the information I want. So I'm going to search for Jessica Ennis Hill, place of birth. And it's going to tell me down here, Jessica Ennis Hill was born in Sheffield. And then I'll go and add that back onto my timeline. It is really important that you don't get all of your information from one article and from one website. If you do that, what will happen is you're almost just going to be reproducing the same biography that someone else has already written. So what you want to do is you want to find the bits of information that interest you and then put it together into one piece. So I will then, after finding out about her place of birth and her childhood and her schooling, the main piece of your biography is going to be about the sporting achievements. So I am going to put in sporting achievements and see what comes up. And each individual website, without me having to click and load the website, is going to give me a little bit of a snapshot about her kind of main, main achievements. And I'll just take notes and I'll lift those in. So hopefully by the end of today's lesson, you'll have a full page of notes on your athlete full of interesting information, not just dates and, and you know, individual achievements. And then you'll be all set for Miss Morton's lesson tomorrow, where you're looking at sentence structures, and Miss Morton's lesson on Thursday, when you are going to look at a model of writing before starting to write your own. I'm looking forward to you sending your writing in this week, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing who you've chosen to write about. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice day.